Well, the heat that we saw throughout this past weekend is already crumbling as we speak. As a cold front slides its way through the region, at this moment dealing with mostly cloudy skies, temperature at 70 degrees, humidity at 82 percent. So cold fronts making its way through the region, but with the increase in that cloudiness and those showers, temperatures have been kept down throughout the day, mostly into those 60s and 70s. 62 in Iron, Ironwood, 61 in Houghton, 73 in Crystal Falls. Towards the east, that cloudiness expanding now more so towards the eastern half, 68 in Munising. Still hanging on to that sliver of heat and sizzle in St. Ignace at 87 degrees, but it's only a matter of time before they fall victim to this cold front and eventually the entire state as well. So already radical changes already beginning to take place in the UP and eventually going to spread through the entire region by the time we push towards tomorrow morning. Winds out of the southwest at 7 in Munising and Iron Mountain where the cold front is already making its way through. Winds already shifting out of the west or out of the northwest at 8 miles per hour in Houghton, 3 in Ironwood. So yes, it's all about this cold front. Summer weather that we had, it's now becoming a thing of the past. Autumn is really making a harsh comeback towards the region. We're going to be dealing with actually below average temperatures. Yes, we were first dealing with above average temperatures by a good 20 to 30 degrees. Now we're going to be dealing about a good 10 degrees below average starting tomorrow all the way through Sunday. Second cold front on Thursday is really going to just reinforce this cool air, especially on Friday where our high temperatures could be dealing with more into those low to mid 50s and the chance for some frost to develop on Saturday morning. So yes, very big changes, not just in the afternoons, but also in those mornings. Remember, we also did have record warm lows this past weekend, 67 degrees Saturday morning. And now we could be dealing with protecting your crops this Saturday morning. So far cry when it comes to that thermometer. But at this moment, just showers and a couple thunderstorms making their way through the region tail end of this front all the way down to parts of the southern plains back end of this disturbance into parts of minnesota and north dakota and it's really just going to pack quite a punch when it comes to those temperatures really taking a big tumble for today but all the way through the remainder of the work week so thunderstorms all the way down to parts of texas and oklahoma warm air returning into parts of the eastern rockies and central plains but for us it's all about that return to autumn like weather as the cold front really makes its way down to parts of the Ohio Valley on Wednesday and eventually the Eastern Great Lakes by Thursday. So for us, we'll have a little bit of a dry period pushing into Wednesday and Thursday. Then another shot of showers by the time we get towards the end of Thursday into Friday. And that's really going to keep those temperatures down into those low 50s before we start seeing a small sign of a warm up by the end of the weekend. But overall, temperatures though noticeably cooler than what we had just days ago. For tonight though, hold on to those umbrellas early on. Scattered showers early, winds out of the west at five to 15 miles per hour. With those winds coming out of the northwest at 15 miles per hour on Wednesday, it's not gonna feel like 57 in Houghton or 58 in Antinagan. It'll feel more like 51, 52 degrees, 60 in Iron Mountain. These are actually below average temperatures for late September. We'll have a mixture of sun and clouds, but still that noticeable chill in the air 54 only on Friday.